Now, before I get on with the important business of justifiably slagging off Boris Johnson in the harshest of terms, let me drone on about my tour again. I'm on tour, London, Southampton, Swindon, Swansea. Tickets available via the link below this video. Now, former nation-destroying Prime Minister Boris Johnson had a massive strop on Friday night before resigning as an MP, something he should have done long before now. The proverbial party guest who's long outstayed their welcome and should never have been invited in the first place, his departure will be greeted with mutterings of thank God for that across the whole country. In announcing his resignation, he whinged that a parliamentary committee investigating Partygate was determined to find him guilty despite a lack of any evidence and accused the committee of being a kangaroo court. The great misapprehension that Boris seems to be suffering from is that anyone would care about this alleged injustice. All but the most blinkered of Johnson's supporters are thoroughly glad to see the back of him. When he took office as Prime Minister, he was gifted with a landslide majority of 80 seats, as voters either had to opt for him or lunatic Corbyn. Yet despite this incredibly strong majority and the huge authority it gave his government, he still managed to balls everything up entirely. Worst of his catastrophic decisions, of course, he plunged the whole country into lockdown for two years and handed out free money to millions of people who weren't allowed to work. He snatched away people's fundamental civil liberties and then threatened never to give them back unless we all took an experimental vaccine. Odious little dictator. And now as a consequence, we have cripplingly high taxes, crippling inflation, cost of living crisis, entirely dysfunctional public services and extreme levels of rancorous social division. Consistently proven a cheat and a liar, none of us ever thought we'd see a Prime Minister worse than Tony Blair in our lifetimes, but congratulations to Boris, he's managed it. All he bought us was authoritarianism and poverty, and having turned Great Britain into a third world country, he's now off to make millions of pounds on the international speaking circuit. And in his place, we're left with Rishi Sunak, a careerist WEF shill who doesn't give a hoot about this country or its people. Just in case any of us was foolish enough to imagine that the gross decline of our country was somehow reversible. Get gone, Boris, and for the love of God, don't come back. Please do like and subscribe, and for early access to all my content, support me on Patreon, or contribute to my PayPal by following the links below this video. This channel only exists with your support, so please do contribute what you can. Thanks for watching.